Hey, my name is Ben, if we've never met, and I've been attending the Leadership Summit for almost two decades. And at the end of day one, your brain is swirling with all of the content. I know some of you couldn't make all of the sessions. Here is the Leadership Summit content for day one in three minutes or less. The day started with Craig Rochelle, he's the pastor of Life Church and the champion, the voice, the key voice of the Global Leadership Summit. He talked about the art of get mo, learning the art of good enough to move on because sometimes we spend too much time trying to maximize something without really seeing the return on that investment. So learn get mo, and when you do that, you'll also learn how to bend the curve, the productivity curve. Instead of experiencing the law of diminishing return, you bend it for maximum impact, insightful. In order to do that, we need to step into the challenges. Learn how to think inside the box. Don't let scarcity scare us and uh, see what could be through all of that. That was followed by an interview with Bozema St. John. She talked about how you are the culture. It's not in an HR manual. It's not with a CEO. It's not with a poster on the wall. It's you in the cubicle next to you. So for example, if you wanna be an inclusive culture, the way you do that is you start to invite other voices to the dance. You invite those that you want to be inclusive of into the key conversations that your organization is having. Ben Sherwood of ABC and the Disney Corporation, he talked about how to lead through difficult circumstances or crisis. He talked about how you need to maintain your point of reference for example, if you're in an airplane or helicopter crash, they say, remember your north and south, where you are and where you want to go. That way, no matter what happens around you, no matter how many times you get hit, you're maintaining your point of references so that you can find your way out. In order to do that, you have to wait until all of the sudden and turbulent motion stops. Some people try to do too much too fast and only get up getting injured even more or create more disruption. And so in the midst of all of that, you have to hold on to not just plain optimism, but a realistic optimism. And that is what helps you lead and bring others along with you towards better outcomes, especially in chaotic situations. Liz Bohannon talked about beginner's pluck and this fear that if you have early success, it was just beginner's luck, but beginner's pluck is this kind of spunky, determined courage to step into whatever it is that you're doing and maintain a learning attitude throughout the entire process. John Dorsey basically helped us understand that we can blame the boomers for all of the problems that millennials have these days because the number one influence is parenting. In other words, boomers created them. And in all seriousness, if we can learn the strengths of each generation, then we can learn how to work and talk to each other that yield better outcomes for the future. Danielle Strickland talked about how the key to transformation is that it starts deep in the belief system that we have. And what you experience first in transformation is disruption. And too often we see that as a threat. And so we push it away instead of allowing disruption to be an invitation to go on this journey. Devin Franklin talked about how your difference, though it may be difficult, though it may be discomforting or uncomfortable at times, it is ultimately what leads you to your destiny. So admit it, own it, and live in it. And then Patrick Lencioni ended the day by reminding us as leaders that your motive matters. If you're just in leadership for what you can get, get out. The wrong motive. But great leaders, really the only leadership, is a responsibility-centered leader. A leader that knows it is here, he or she is here, to serve the people in their organization, in their workplace, and the broader community. Yeah, that's a lot. Great day one. Can't wait for day two.